welcome everybody in the world because all seven billion of us come to Gary Responds and watch it. And they should. I feel like I have good conversation. I got comments to read, baby. Don't play with me. Let's go. Satanic us lupus. Satanic us lupus. Says the greatest moments in Pintry uh, is a great segment that can totally make a regular appearance. It could and it can and it should and it might. Who knows? We never know. But my thing is, did that nigga do a front feeble or backsmith? Front feeble, but he did a front feeble. A lot of people were calling out backsmith, but that was a front feeble around that thing and it was beautiful. And the way that he gave himself wheel bite intentionally for a whole 360 degrees, beautiful. A sphere. Pentry. Tony York said, he said, <laughs> B Turner been around since Chad Muska had brain cells. I've seen a lot of people saying like, damn, why you get a, a Chad Muska like that? It's just, I've seen interviews where he's even mentioned that he's partied, smoked, and drank. And if you hear Chad talk like versus in the early days and now, like that's always been a dude that probably just said fuck it <laughs> a lot. So I'm not hating on Chad Muska. I'm not apologizing, that shit funny. Um, but yeah, nah. It ain't no like, I love Chad Musker, bro. He's a legend. I used to pick him in the game, you know what I'm saying? He used to have the, he had the blackest outfits on for a white dude, and I loved that. Him and Stevie Williams, and it was beautiful, bro. He had like the, the visor to the side. Nigga was killing do-rags and shit. Come on, man, you can't hate on Chad Musker. He a legend. RL says, I have no idea what Gary is talking about half the time, but I love it. You know what's funny about that? Neither do we. Sometimes we just say shit. And it's fun and it's a good time. And that's when shit's the funniest, when it's just like, what? Fuck it. Like, I don't know, bro. You gotta listen closely too. Captain Link says, do a blunt stall on the ramp. Instead of landing it, just credit card as hard as you can because that's content, baby. Of course. Like, how do you even fall like that? <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> Hunter Veronelli says Arizona, Phoenix specifically, has one of the highest homeless rates in the country. And damn, there's a lot of people with better tans than any fucking rich soccer mom could get at Venice Beach then, huh? It's hot as hell, man. Damn. Sorry about, no, nah, the homeless is not something to joke about. You know, the niggas is getting a tan on. Shit, I didn't even know that. I could have sworn there was like more places with way higher, but shout out Phoenix. Damn. Crazy. Jake Owen says, been watching Skate Line for four years. One of my favorite parts of the week. Let's see a steezy back D on the mini. All right, shit. Shout out to you watching it for half the time, bro. You got four years to catch up on, baby. Eight years strong, son. That's right. That wasn't steezy enough. Woo! See, I could have credit card on that one. Pete says, can't decide whether to watch Skate Line in slow-mo or muted. Definitely muted. Slow-mo is like, I'd be having spit flying. I don't want you to think of me disgusting. Just don't hear me. KBY says, since lockdown, Skate Line's been my way of measuring time. I'm like, oh shit, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Bro, yeah, same here. Uh, it's crazy how we you, you find out quickly that we made up the concept of time without shit being calculated. When you don't really work either or something like that, like people that don't work or their vacations, like summer, you forget like that we made up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're like, we made that shit up. And it hits different when there's like nothing in the way. Like so many people unemployed, hella friends hit you up on more often basis to go skate. And you're like, don't you worry, oh, never mind. Adam Halstead says, what a fine program. Bravo, good sir. Thank you, Adam, appreciate you. We, we try. So what we're gonna do is, since you said bravo, which means encore, another one. We're gonna wrap this episode of Gary Responds. Give you two delicate links right here, right over my shoulder. You can click them at your leisure, whatever you like to do. They're for you. Shout out Adam and everybody else that comes here and comments. Leave me tricks, goddammit, because I'm gonna have a fucking fit if I don't get any. Thank you.